the beautiful thing about sport is that we have been able to tap into this reservoir of potential that is seemingly unlimited when we engage with sport. Um, it, the mind is the most powerful tool that we have on the planet. Um, and that tool that we use can be wielded to create the most incredible shot, the most incredible hit, the most amazing catch, the fastest lap. But also on the other side, it's, it's a tool like anything else, and it can be used to deconstruct and to dissemble and to break down. And I think it's, it's really in the eye of the beholder of how we use these tools to our advantage. So for those who are listening to this, and if you have not struggled or you have struggled or you know someone, look, this is much more prevalent than we can realize 800 million people around the world will have some clinical form of depression and or kind of mental psychotrauma in some capacity in their lives. Um, that's a lot of people. And I, I can only imagine that, you know, the way that the, the political environment, the pandemic has expressed and, and exacerbated these issues, but most importantly, the mind is still the most powerful tool. And so if there is the thing to take away from this is to remember that, that you have opportunities here to seek out both resources, friends, family, society as a whole, uh, the walls are coming down. And for the first time that I've ever experienced, this conversation, not just about mental health, about all these issues that seem so taboo just 10 years ago, are now front and center. So the silver lining in this pandemic is that it has proven the most important aspects of being human, what is important, and how we carry that purpose forward. 